Hey everybody, welcome to this bluegrass banjo arrangement of Little Sadie. So Little Sadie is often played on uh, claw hammer, but this is kind of a fun uh, bluegrass version. We're playing in the key of D minor, and I've already tuned my fifth string up to an A. So that's what you want to go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to play through it, then I will talk about the chords and the form. There's some kind of weird stuff here. And then we'll go line by line through and uh, show you how to play it. The tab will be in the video, but if you want an actual PDF of the tab or a lead sheet for this to play along with, um, you can get that by subscribing on my Patreon. There'll be a link below for that. But without further ado, let's uh, let's start this off, okay? One, two, one, two, three, four. little Sadie. Um, we're in the key of D minor again. We're turning up that fifth string to an A. That's important. Uh, there's a couple kind of tough things here. One is the harmonic rhythm, the when the chords change can be a little bit confusing. We'll talk about that. And the other one is we have lots of uh, quick lines. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -do 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 -do. I don't have that note. -do -do -do. Um, so we have to do some melodic style stuff here. And we can talk about that when we get to it. Okay, let's talk about the chords. I will put them up. Um, <clears throat> so it's kind of in two bar chunks. So let's go kind of two bar chunks. Generally speaking, I'm playing just a no fifth roll here, just to keep it easy. This roll here. But let's just go through and just do the chords. So we have, um, when I one night, so that comes in pretty quick, four to make a little round, right? That throws people off, but really quickly, like two beats in. Now one F, da 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 D. Second phrase, I met a little Seda and I shot her down. Here's our A minor. Um, now with the A minor, this is kind of important. C to A, they're very similar. So when I get to the A minor, uh, because I really want to make sure people know it's A minor, I make sure to hit that A note. So uh, here on the C, I'm doing no fifth roll, shout her. But when I go to the A, I make sure to hit that note, A. Then we have the next phrase, went back home, got into bed. Just an A minor, easy. This last phrase is probably the toughest. And it's also kind of confusing because the chord doesn't really fit with the melody, but it works in the context of the song. It's just a G. Uh, smokeless under my head, head on the D. Now, the thing you'll notice is there's actually a, a half a bar in here. We have, you can either think of it as a six beat bar of G. One, two, three, four, five, six, D. Or you can kind of think of it as a bar and a half, right? One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. But anyways, the music kind of stutters. It's not just four, four throughout the whole time. So you got to remember when we get to that D, it's not one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's one, two, three, four, one, two, D, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it has this little bit of a stutter. And this is not uncommon, but it kind of sometimes can take your... Uh, a moment to get your head around it. So let me play through the chords here again. So I'll just do it with a roll. Or no, I'll just play it. So, uh, no, I'll do it with a roll. When I won I, okay, when I won F, da 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 D, then C, da 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 da, A minor, da 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 G, da 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 G, then D, two, three, four, D, two, then it repeats. Da da. So it might actually help if you're having a really hard time with this, try counting. 
I generally don't recommend, I don't think people should be counting all the time, like, uh, but if you're screwing up something like this all the time, it's nice to kind of make sure you get that D, two, three, four, make sure that you know, okay, we're, as soon as I hit that D, we're back to an A, or sort of back to the downbeat being the one. Okay, so those are the chords. Now, um, we're gonna go through the rolls. Uh, this melody, like I kind of hinted at when I was trying to play this, I don't have those low notes. So what I essentially did was put the melody up pretty high. So in order to do this, we're playing some reverse rolls. So for example, we're starting here with this roll. I'm just going to show you the roll. All right. Um, and we're doing it with kind of chords. Most of the melody is inside of the chords. So I'm just going to show you here. We have this... Uh, D minor shape here. So I want you to think of, of it as basically it's like this A minor shape we have, but we're just going up here. Now for all of this, we're going to play a lot of these thirds. And to do the thirds, you want this third finger down on, uh, in this tune anyways, this third finger down on the first string. So that's going to help out quite a bit. So now that we've talked about that. Let me put the first line up here. Okay, and we're starting on this D minor shape, and we're just gonna move up from this third to this third. So notice that my third finger stays down, and I just switch from first finger to middle finger, okay? And then I just basically do that roll I just showed you. Oh, sorry. Right? Noticing when I hit the fifth string, that's when I switch positions, and that's good to get used to. All right? Then we have this little lick down. So those two bars. Right. Then we basically do the same thing. This next part is very similar. We're just doing it on a C. So we're here with this C note chord. Up to this. It's the exact same motion um, to this third. Same fingers. Uh, where am I? I just didn't hit an open string. So let me do those two bars again. Like to emphasize this C note. Uh, give it a little bit of a bend. Okay, now we have this A minor here, and we just have this little melody. Essentially the same thing twice, pretty simple. Here's the hard part here. This is the melodic thing. So I find melodic banjo a lot easier when I don't have the fifth string tuned up to A because uh, I'm just used to playing in G. But it kind of screws us up a little bit, so we have to kind of cheat a bit. So I'm not going to spend too much time about how I figured this out. Uh, maybe I'll do some videos on more melodic stuff to get you in the handle. Actually, I've done some videos before. Maybe I'll link up um, uh, either Billion the Low Ground or uh, Blackberry Blossom. I think I've done videos for both of those. Those are really good videos to if you're wanting to get into the style. It's kind of nice. Uh, those two tunes are the ones I recommend to my students. The first two I tend to start with. Anyways, we're getting into this last two bars. So it looks like this. We're going to actually have this third shape here, but now we're on eight, right? So we're just kind of starting here. We're not so much thinking of it as a chord shape. It's more of a melody thing. And we're just going to switch between our thumb and our fingers. So we have this. Now here we're switching down to this position here. This is the really tough part. We're going to pull off from five to three. And then we get five here. Right? So let me try that again. So I've taught this to a couple people before and everybody kind of does it with different fingers. So I want you to think a little bit about what fingers work best for you. Part of the problem here is you have this pull off here. So don't do it, I wouldn't do it with these two fingers. I would do either this one, in per I would probably say only do with these first and third. Here you could either get your middle finger here to prepare or you can get your third finger and then move up. Now the hardest part I think here is this where you pull off six to five and then get five below. Now I'm a guitar player and I've done this a lot so uh, this is a motion I'm very comfortable with where I have this, this is an E note here and I can just roll my finger over to the C. Um, you don't do that as often on a banjo. It's a nice thing to practice to get comfortable hitting an E note and then rolling over and getting the C and not making it sound like very short. So you can do that, but I would probably recommend that whatever finger you have here that you get this C with a different one. All right, so let me do that again. Here I 
just kind of set myself up for this D minor. So I just make that D minor there. With a no fifth roll. Okay, one more time through this two bars. Last thing I'm going to do is just play through it nice and slow. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Okay, one, So have fun with this one. I really like this tune. Uh, and there's a lot of extra things that you can do and add to it. So once you get comfortable with this, try different things out. Okay. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Till next time. Bye.